Now let's talk about dividing radicals. So as always, try these on your own and pause the video, but let's go through it. So the first thing we need to do is multiply by root eight over root eight, because that would allow uh, the denominator to become rationalized. So when we do that, we would get five multiplied by root 16 over root 64, which would be equal to five times four over eight, which is basically going to be equal to five over two. Okay, try this one. Just like before, we'd multiply by root 10, root 10, to get rid of the radical on the bottom. And when we do that, we will get three over root 10 over two over root 100. And that's the same thing as three over root 10 over two times 10, which will be just 20. So I'll just put it here. And that's our answer. Try these ones. So I think that's going to be the same question. So let's do another one instead. Let's do uh, this one right here. And here we will multiply by root five, root five, and that will go into each one as well as the bottom. So when we do that, we will get four root 20 minus two root five all over root 25. And then this can just be made into five. And uh, we will just be able to see if there's anything else we can cancel. Don't think so, so we would keep it like this. So it would be 20 minus, right? So we can do, oh, yeah, so this should be root 25. Therefore, that's going to be four times five, which will be 20, or so it'd be like 20 minus, two root five all over five. And instead of this one, let's do another example. Let's say we had root 24 over root 72. Try this one. So in these ones, it's best to simplify first. So for 24, we can take out a two, 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 three, and then we will get, this can be broken into two because we are taking the square root. So we're looking for groups of two, root six, and then for 72 to break that down, just keep dividing by two or three, and we will get, so do two first and then nine, three, three, and then look for groups of twos, so we have one group of two and three, so therefore we would have uh, two times three, which would be six outside, and then two on the bottom. And then from here, we would take two root six over six root two, and multiply this by the denominator's root, so root two over root two, and we would get two root 12, over six root four. So this, now we can simplify to just being two. So 12 on the bottom, two root 12. So this can be, um, and the 12, we'll put it over here. We can break this down into six, two, three. So we have a group of two out here as well. So we have basically the two there, and then root three all over six, because we simplified this, so it became one over six, and then the 12 became a two on the outside, root three. 
Okay, perfect. So now let's try this one. I'll give you a moment to try. So in these ones, what you need to do is actually multiply by the conjugate. So instead of multiplying just by like root six minus root two, you would multiply by root six plus root two. And root six plus root two. And then when you do that, you will get root 12 plus root four. And then on the bottom, remember to foil this out properly. So you'll have like root six times root six, which would be root 36, root six times root two, which would be root 12, and then this and this. So make sure you get four terms. So when we do that, we will get the root 36 plus 12, root 12 is basically root four times root three, and then negative root four, root three for this one. And then lastly, we will get negative root four. So what you'll notice is that these have canceled out. And basically from there, we know that this will be six and this will be negative two. So we will just have four on the denominator. And we know root 12 can be simplified into two root three equals root 12. And then uh, root four is just going to be two. So on the top, we will have the two root three plus two all over just four. And let's try one more. So in this one, I'll give you a second to try it. Very similar. In this case, you would want to simplify the root 12 into two root three, and then multiply everything by uh, root three. So root three, root three, and we will get, make sure you put it into all the terms, we will get 36 root six minus six root 18 plus four root nine all over two root nine. And then we'll just simplify some things. Um, so for example, 18, can be broken down into three root two, because you look for a group of two, since it's a radical, a square root. So three, and then two is left on the inside of the bracket because it's unpaired. And then we know nine is just three. The square root of nine is three. So we will rewrite this as now being 36 root six minus six. Um, so 18, we'll say minus six, and then 18 we know is three root two plus four times root nine, which will be just 12 because root nine is 12. And then this, I'll just combine it to be 18. So negative 18 root two. And then from there on the bottom, we'll just have six. And let's see if there's anything else we can do to simplify. 36, 18, and 12 are all divisible by, by 6, so I'm going to factor out a 6. Leaving us with our final answer of root 6 minus 3 root 2 plus two. Okay, so yeah, that's how we do these ones. If you have 
one where it's like the denominator has like something plus or something minus, flip the sign and multiply by the conjugate. And then all the other ones just multiply by the normal um, root that's on the bottom.